everybody, Rachel here. Welcome to Dunder Cheap Makeup. And today's video is going to be on the new Rimmel London Moistery New Lipsticks. Um, I did pick up eight of them and I didn't even pick up half they had to offer. I'm not exactly sure how many was in their collection, but I know there was a lot, um, probably like 20, I would, I'm guessing. I mainly picked up the lighter shades. I got six of the lighter shades and then just two of the deeper shades to try out. And I have to say that I'm absolutely in love with these. The only thing I do not, I don't want to say I don't like about them, but I could probably do without is the smell. They don't smell bad. Um, they just smell like, they smell exactly like sunscreen. So if you don't like the smell of sunscreen, you're not going to like these because these smell just like sunscreen. Um, and as you're wearing them, you can, you can kind of smell them on your lips. Uh, you just get whiffs here and there. It's nothing that really bothers me, but, um, I kind of like the smell of the original Rimmel lipsticks. I kind of thought they were, were a little bit more sweeter. Like I said, these don't smell bad and I don't mind the smell. I'm just putting that out there because I know some people don't like, um, you know, lipsticks that have any kind of smell to them because it is right under your nose. Uh, but other than that, um, they feel extremely moisturizing and the wear time for how moisturizing they are, I was really surprised because you get a good six hours of wear with the lipsticks if you're not eating and drinking a bunch. Um, what one did I have on earlier? I had pink chick on earlier and I just kept looking in the mirror and every time I looked in the mirror, I was like, oh my gosh, it's still like there on my lips and it you know it didn't even start fading off till about like that I could see till about like the fourth hour so I was really surprised on the staying, staying power of these and they continue to feel creamy the whole time they're on your lips after about the fourth hour you can kind of feel the moisture leaving your lips but it doesn't leave them dry if anything it makes them feel a lot better so as far as lipsticks at the drugstore these are my new favorites like I won't even look in any other collection now but these I love the formulation that much and the feeling on the lips that much they're just um, they're so incredibly moisturizing and you can't really feel them on the lips unless you rub your lips together then you'll kind of feel the how smooth and creamy they are they coat over the lips nicely they're they don't um, accentuate any dry patches they don't move outside the lips even with the deeper shades um, I thought since they are so creamy that they might travel outside the lips or the lip line anyways and they don't if you put too much on they might but I mean if you put the normal amount they did it on me so I thought that was awesome because they're long wearing they feel amazing I love these a lot more than the other Rimmel Moisture Renew lipsticks and I really love those so that's saying a lot that I even love these more um, like I said earlier these are my new favorite drugstore lipsticks at the drugstore by far one of my favorite shades in the line, or at least the ones that I picked up, it's called Coral Britannia, or Britannia, whatever. Um, but it looks like this, and it's a really pretty nude shade, but it's a brightening nude. So it's not gonna blank out your lips or anything. It's still gonna give you the impact of a brighter lipstick does, but it's a nude because it's such a bright, pretty peach shade. I really love this shade. It really will brighten up any look even though it is a peach shade so this is one of my favorites out of the ones i picked up so let's just go ahead and get into the swatches <laughs>
how beautiful these colors are, how pigmented they are. Um, some of the shades I picked up, like the one in Latino, let me get fine. This one I didn't actually expect to like. Um, it's slightly frosty on the lips, but um, normally I wouldn't pick something like this up. But when I was in Fred Meyers, I was holding my son in one hand. So usually I take the cap off and actually look at the lipstick. I don't swatch it because I think that's rude to do, but I like to at least look at the lipstick. This is a shade I would have passed on if I would have looked at it, but now that I've got it home and I've tried it, I actually really do like the shade in Latino. Um, the two deepest shades that I have, the one in Back to Fuchsia and As You Want Victoria, the deeper shades, you have to be really careful putting these on because um, as you saw in my uh, swatch swatches, they're kind of all over my face or just uneven like it is now. It's not perfect because I didn't use a lip liner, but they're so buttery and creamy. They just like melt on. So a little goes a long way. You're going to want to definitely use a lipstick lipstick a lip liner with the deeper shades so um my favorite shades out of the ones i have are definitely the two deepest shades um like i said latino surprised me i actually do like this um it's a little bit uh different than what i would normally wear but i will probably start wearing this one because i did like the way it looked on me um, the peach one, the coral one I told you in the beginning, and then the other one I really liked was Let's Get Naked. I thought this was such a pretty nude, a different type of nude shade. It's a different than a lot of the drugstore nudes out there, I think. Um, and one thing I'm really happy about Rimmel's lipstick line is they have a ton of different lighter shades to pick from. Nudes, lighter shade, peaches, pinks. Um, I feel like, you know, like L'Oreal's lipstick, they have like one nude, Ferris nude, and it's beautiful, but I wish they would come out with um, some different nudes and keep them out in their permanent line. So I'm really happy that Rimmel did this. These are awesome, and I meant it when I said it. These are my favorite drugstore lipsticks, and I like these. I actually prefer these over a lot of high-end lipsticks that I have. So if you guys haven't tried these, pick these up because you're going to love them if you can get past the scent part. Um, like I said, they smell like sunscreen, like not just a little smell. You can definitely smell them on your lips. Um, after I've wore them for about an hour, I don't tend to smell it as much as in the first hour. Like I said, the smell doesn't bother me, but um, I just like the original smell of these um, that they had before, the kind of candy sweet scent. I know a lot of people didn't like that scent, so maybe you guys will like these more. But other than that, I hope this video was helpful with picking out some of the colors, because I know there's a lot in the line and it's kind of hard just to look at a sticker to see how it's gonna actually come out on your lips and look. So. Um, in the near future, if I pick up more, maybe I'll do another video on the other half or something. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, bye guys.